Hi, and welcome to Craggle. We develop tools for the visual effects industry. This is a documentation video on Smart Render, a multi-threaded background render tool for Nuke that works on all three major operating systems, Linux, Mac, and Windows. By default, when you hit the Render button, Nuke will calculate one frame after the other. Smart Render, on the other hand, is able to use all your hardware resources and can render your image sequences using all cores, which will speed up your renderings dramatically. Smart Render includes some additional functionality to speed things up even more, which we will see in a second. First, let's install Smart Render. Smart Render can be installed with Craggle Connect directly inside Nuke. For more information about Connect, please visit the link below. So open Connect and drag Smart Render to the right. Just click on Buy and you'll be located to the web page where you can purchase Smart Render. After purchasing, you'll receive a mail including an install code. Now simply click on Install, enter your received code, and Smart Render will be installed automatically on your machine. After the installation is finished, Smart Render can be accessed via Nuke's menu bar. Just click on Craggle. And in here, you'll now find Smart Render and Render. This will show the Smart Render window. The shortcut is holding Command or Control and pressing the R key. Let's see how Smart Render works. Let's open a Nuke script. And here the right node is already set up including a render location. Select all right nodes that you would like to render and press Command or Control and R to reveal the Smart Render window. The selected right nodes are checked in here which means they'll be processed. But you can always change your selection in here afterwards. If you right click a right node checkbox, you will get the option to jump to that right node in your node graph and to reveal the render directory in your explorer if the render path is set. At the top you can set your frame range to render the global frame range of your nuke script or a custom range. Next you have the option to make an incremental rendering of let's say rendering only every fifth frame. This can become useful to check your overall sequence without the need of having every frame rendered. We will see how we can benefit from the functionality in a second. For now, let's leave it at every frame and leave overwrite existing frames turned on. The most crucial section in Smart Render will be this dial in here. It lets you choose how many threads you use for your renderings. Let's speed things up and increase it to the highest available count, which will be 16 threads for this computer. At the bottom, we can also set an output size. For now, let's leave it at its original size. When you're done, click the Render button. The render job will be added automatically to the job history and processed using the entered number of threads. The job history can be toggled with a button or by pressing the L key. When we jump to our render directory, we will see that 16 frames are now being rendered simultaneously in the background. And as this is a background rendering, we can continue working in our scene and we are not forced to wait for the rendering to be finished. The job history shows you the most important job details as well as the render progress. Right click the job. The job history will be refreshed automatically, but you can also do that manually in here. Let's navigate to job. And in here you find some job specific actions. You can pause and resume a rendering and change the job's thread count on the fly, even if it's rendering at the moment. In here you can view the log for the specific job, which includes all job details, as well as all log information, which you can also filter by, for instance, to show all or only info, done, or error, or pending frames. The terminal input commands or all terminal outputs. If your script contains some errors that will prevent from rendering, you'll find them in here. Furthermore, you can pause and resume a job and export your log as a text file. You can also reveal the render folder directly from here, so there's no need to navigate to it manually. And you can also remove the job from the list. This will cancel all threads from this job if it's still processing. You can use the View menu to view only jobs with a specific status. And this item lets you remove all finished jobs. When the rendering is done, you will get a notification and have some actions to choose from. 
You can open up the render directory and show the log as we have already seen, and you can insert the rendering as a read node directly into your node graph. Let's use Smart Render on another Nuke script. In here we are done with our comp, but we haven't rendered it yet. Before rendering every frame, let's make a quick preview rendering. So let's select our right node and set the incremental rendering to every tenth frame. and render the job. When the rendering is finished, let's insert it as a read node and check the output. And here we can see some error. So let's fix that. In most cases, you are able to detect errors in your comp without the need to render every single frame. So this will decrease the time that you have to wait for some feedback dramatically. Let's re-render our changes and render only frames 50 to 70. Now the error is fixed. If we want to see some more frames, in between let's render all fifth frames and turn override existing frames off. By doing that we will now render every fifth frame and the frames that we already rendered won't be processed a second time. All right, that's good. Let's now fill all gaps by setting our frame range to global. Render every frame and keep the override existing frames off so already rendered frames are skipped. This example showed you how to use Smart Render for creating fast, multi-threaded previews and finally filling the sequence with all non-rendered frames. The most crucial part of Smart Render is the decreasing of rendering times. For an in-depth example of comparing rendering times, please follow the link below. Here we have prepared a link for you of videos that show render times from the normal processing compared to Smart Render's multi-thread option. Let's have a quick look at the presets. You'll find it in the first tab. All values that you set in an output tab are saved even if you close Smart Render, Nuke, or even if you shut down your computer. But if you often need to switch between different settings, you can create a preset in here and load it. To save a preset, simply click the Add button and type in a preset name. To load one, select it from the preset list. And here you will see the preset details of the selected preset. To load its values, simply click the Load button. The current setup output values will be replaced with the values of a selected preset. By the way, after you have installed Smart Render, your write nodes now gain some extra functionality. Each write node will now contain a custom tab in which you can reveal the render directory in your explorer, version up your write node including creating a new render folder and automatically creating a render directory. Smart Render offers a lot of settings to customize it to your needs. Let's have a look at the settings. Let's navigate to Craggle Smart Render Settings. And here you can create a backup of the location below whenever you add a job to the job history. This saves you from always having a corresponding backup script of your renderings. When this checkbox is checked, the render directory will be created automatically on the fly if it doesn't already exist. 
By default, Nuke would raise an error if the render directory didn't exist. So here you can automate this process and don't need to worry about non-existent render directories anymore. If this checkbox is checked, you will get a render notification window as soon as the render job is finished. This is the window that we have already seen a minute ago. If you don't need a notification window, simply turn this option off. If this checkbox is turned on, all terminal output commands will be recorded and can be seen in the job log. Having this turned on is recommended for job debugging purposes. After submitting a job to the job list, here you can choose what action to perform after clicking the render button. Here you can choose to play a notification sound when the rendering is finished. You can also put your own WAV file into Smart Render Sound folder, and it will be choosable from this window. Next, you have the option to set the update times in seconds for the job history and the job log. Both setting values are good to go and hardly need to be changed. But if you need to change these settings, you can do that here. Here you can change the Nuke executable that will be used for the terminal renderings. By default, the executable will be the app of your currently used Nuke version. In case you need a different version, you can put it in another absolute path in here. Again, this is a settings that hardly needs to be changed. But if you need to, this is a place where you can do that. And here you have two buttons to flush the job history and the smart render settings. Finally, let's have a look on customizing your render processes. Smart render is built to work best out of the box, but if you have some technical knowledge, you can customize your terminal rendering commands. Let's navigate inside the smart render package and go to the custom directory. And here you will find two important Python modules, render command and render process. In the render command module, you can change the job command that the worker threads will send to the nuke terminal. And in the render process module, you can customize what will be done when it comes to processing a frame. Again, this doesn't need to be changed, but if you have some technical knowledge, then you can customize both modules to your needs. For more information about customizing your render processes, please refer to the Smart Render documentation. So this was a documentation video of Smart Render, a multi-threaded background render tool for Nuke that will speed up your renderings dramatically.